Hey folks, hi, this is Craig Bielek with Junction City Today. I uh, haven't seen you for a while. Uh, we've been running some reruns, as you may have noticed, but I'm back. It's 2021 and we are back. Did you miss me? I missed you. I mean, I really did. All of you folks out there, I miss you all. <laughs> but we're back and today we want to talk about something else that is back. Yes. Recycling yes. is back in Ogden City. A lot of you have been pushing for this for a long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of you really like the recycling program and a lot of you out there probably have a lot of questions mm -hmm. as to what you can recycle and what goes in this can, what goes in that can. Your prayers are answered because <laughs> I have with me today, Gina Hughes with Ogden City. And Gina, your title again is? Solid Waste Supervisor. Solid Waste Supervisor. That is the title I have wanted my entire life. <laughs> I wanted to be that person <laughs> and, and now I'm jealous. You've got that, that yeah. position. Yeah. Um, tell us what it is you do for Ogden City. Uh, I oversee our green waste facility, which is where you could take all your yard debris and stuff instead of putting it in your green can. In your green can. We're uh -huh. going to talk about that. Right? Okay. And I oversee the glass recycled bins where you can take your glass instead of throwing it in your green recycling. Green can. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. All of that. And then all the garbage routes and all the garbage cans and all the recycled cans and all the repairing of those. And really? Yeah. You're the garbage queen. Oh. Is that is that like a better title? <laughs> That's a good title. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, it, it's good to, good to be queen of something, right, isn't right, it? Right. <laughs> as far as that goes. How long have you been with Ogden City? Seven years, almost seven years. Uh -huh. A couple of temporary years or seasonal years, but then hired on. And so, yeah. Yeah. And here you are. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Ogden City had a recycling plan for a long time. You mm -hmm. had the green can yep. and you had the blue can. Right. But then due to a couple of things that went on with mm -hmm. the economics of recycling and all that sort of stuff, it went away. Right. But now it's back. It is. And when we say now, is it back right now or is it Last coming? Last Thursday. Back. Last Thursday, which was January like 22nd or 21st uh -huh. or something like that. Yes. January something. <laughs> um, it came back. Yeah. So residents now have the green can and the blue can again. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Well, we never really took them away. But mm -hmm. now we're, we really need to clean up our blue can. We need that, to clean yeah. up the blue can. So the blue can is the recycle can, mm -hmm. right? Yep. The green can is the garbage it's can. That's everything else. That's everything else, mm -hmm. right? And so let's, let's start dividing it up. Okay. Okay, I'm in my house mm -hmm. and I've got my garbage out there. Generally, what goes in the blue can for recycling? The blue can is one and two plastic containers. Okay. Paper. All paper? Cardboard. Or we'll, we'll get to that. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> paper, cardboard, aluminum cans, and steel cans from your kitchen. The term is household, but yeah. Okay. All right. So... Um, uh, and then everything else goes into the green, the green can, mm -hmm. except for if you have green waste, right. which is spring is coming in a few weeks and you're going to start pruning your trees. Right. You're going to start, you know, yanking out the flower beds right. and all that kind yep. of stuff. Yep. So that would go into the green can or you could or take it to the green waste. It would be better if you could take it to the green waste facility because that's free to any Ogden City residents. And uh -huh. it takes the weight or the cost out of the green can. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't realize and probably have never even thought this through, but Ogden City pays for everything that gets thrown away, right? Yeah. Blue can and green can, mm -hmm. one way or yeah. another, yeah. it goes. But if they bring all those branches and things like that over to the green waste facility, uh -huh. then that doesn't figure into all of that no, and you don't get charged. We grind that up and we decompose it and we make our compost out of it and goes back into your guys' gardens. Right. Yeah. And the green waste facility is located where? 1845 Monroe Boulevard. Right, right. And open when? It is open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Right. So six days a week. So you throw it in the back of the truck or a flatbed mm -hmm. or something like that. Yep. Or yep. can you even put it in bags? Like if you've got like a yep. Corolla or something? Yep, we've got garbage cans out there too that you can throw your plastic oh. bags in. So okay. So if you have 
like leaf season is is when our cans get full out mm -hmm. there. So, mm -hmm. well, that's 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 fascinating. I mean, this is more, <laughs> but I want to talk about that blue can because yep. that's yep. what's come back. Yep. Right. The blue can is back. Yep. Okay. So I want to ask you a couple of questions, and mm -hmm. we'll get to them one at a time. But I want you okay. to start thinking about this. Okay. You know what goes into the blue can. Where does it go after it's in the blue can and what eventually happens to it down the down the stream, right? Mm -hmm. So first off, you we talked a little bit about what goes into the to the blue can. You didn't say glass. No glass. No glass goes in the blue can. No glass. Yeah. So we have three glass recycled drop off spots okay. that you can take all your glass to. One is at uh 30th and Harrison Boulevard. They're mm -hmm. in the Ogden High parking lot. Okay. South parking okay, lot. great. There's one at the Green Waste facility at 1845 Monroe Boulevard. All right. And then 502 Wall, that fourth street ballpark right there. Oh in yeah. Oh lot. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those okay. three locations. So that's where, you know. Soda bottles, beer bottles, mm -hmm. uh, mason it, jars, it, those sorts of things yeah, go without there? without the lid. Without the lid, just the, glass. Just glass and raw glass. So uh, raw bottles, glass? wine bottles. Yeah, not stuff like light bulbs. <gasps> oh, okay, no right. mirrors because right. they have that film on mm -hmm, there. So mm -hmm. it's just glass. It could be colored glass, white glass. Right. Just as long as it's just glass. Okay. Not anything in them. They've got to be rinsed out and thrown in there. Okay, great. And not broken pieces of glass from like a window or something. Right, like right. That. Because it also mm -hmm. has not a car window or right. windshield or I've had those sitting by the, the <laughs> roll off bins, but they're not raw glass. Right. So. Let's just say if you eat out of it or drink out right. of it that's the kind of Bingo. glass you want all right Bingo. so then the blue can mm -hmm. the blue can um my wife and i talk about what goes in the blue can all yeah. the time right mm -hmm. so cardboard mm -hmm. like your amazon boxes right right those mm -hmm. sorts of things pizza boxes pizza boxes can with nothing in it and no grease stains okay so if it's a clean pizza box, it's got to be clean. It can go in there. What about like a like a box of like Mike and Ike candies? When those are mm -hmm. empty, yeah, they yeah. go in. Mm -hmm. those okay. Can go in there. Does it matter if they're wax coated on the well, inside or something? Well, the litmus test is is if you can dip that board or that paper, that cardboard mm -hmm. or anything a cereal box or dip it in water and it absorbs the water. Yeah. That's good raw paper. That's a good one, then, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then aluminum cans, all of your soda cans, your beer cans, your your white mountain claw or whatever that stuff is, right, and your right. uh, monster drinks, all that. Yeah. Those can all go in. Rinsed out. Clean. Rinsed out. Got to be clean. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'll bet no one knows that. Yeah, yeah. There's there's three tests that you pretty much put anything through that goes into that blue can. Does it have a recycled symbol? Uh huh. One and two mm -hmm. in the middle of the recycled symbol. Mm -hmm. It's clean. Got to be raw and clean. Okay. And then in doubt, throw it out. If it doesn't have those two, doesn't matter what it is, it goes in your green can. Okay, there you go. So milk jugs are okay. Milk jug rinsed, rinsed out. out. <laughs> yeah, I, I beat you to it. I beat you to it. Yeah. Milk, milk jugs rinsed out right. and that sort of thing. Yeah. And then steel cans. I don't think most people know what steel cans are, but is that like a Campbell's can. soup? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have yeah. to pull a label off or anything? Nope. Throw them in. No. Nope. Rinse them out. Rinse them out. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Why do you rinse them out? Why? Um, well, that changed the density when they melt it down and stuff. It changes. Really? The, yeah. Yeah. And it, and think, if boy, everything something had know. something in it, then it, that would be too much. Okay. So okay. Rinse it out raw. Now, uh, leaves off of your lettuce and tissue paper and scrapings off of plates and all that stuff. That's going in the... Well, the scrapings go in the trash. Right. Yeah. So, but a lot of people are, are putting the to-go stuff in the recycled bin. Mm -hmm. And if it was made to hold liquid, mm -hmm. like let's say a carton of okay. milk, uh -huh. it was made to hold liquid. So mm -hmm. it's dipped in a wax or something that, so it goes in your garbage. So that goes Right Same way with your fountain drink cups. Oh yeah, thirty twos, forty four. Oh, because like they they don't absorb that water. Yeah. Again, yeah. dip that. Think about dipping it yeah. into <laughs> yeah. the sink or something right. like that. If it gets wet and absorbs it, then it's good. It but if not, the then that's not that's, that's right. not right, right? That's right. Okay, are you ready for a big test? Uh -oh. I'm ready to give you all these <laughs> okay. tests. All right. So I go to a restaurant and I get some really good Asian food in a styrofoam container. It goes garbage. Green can. 
Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. I pull out. Styrofoam is not recyclable in any form. Okay. Yeah. I mow my lawn. I have a big bag of clippings. It goes? In the green. In the green. Or? Green waste. To the green waste. Yeah. I, I got her. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Uh, me and my friends have a couple bottles of wine mm -hmm. and we put them in the? Green can. In the green can? In the green can, unless you want to take it to the glass recycled spots yourself. Okay. We're not going to do that. Okay. They have to take them. So okay. if they want to recycle that, that goes there. And we would want, we want them to. Okay. But it, it, if you don't want to take it to the recycled bin, uh -huh. it has to go in your green in front of your house. Okay. I bust out some concrete. Where does that go? That goes in green. It and in the green. only so much. I yeah. like half full. Those arms are. Don't let that. it get too. Don't let it get too much up there. Yeah. Chop up some carrots. I peel them. Where's that go? Uh, in your green can. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want to take them to the green waste facility. There you go. We have a, a leaf pile, a, a small pile that mm -hmm. by, uh, decomposes faster. So we put all the small stuff in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. My church has a root beer float party and we have 96 cans of root beer, 99 cans of root beer on the wall. Yeah. Where does it go? It goes into your rinsed out, goes in your blue can. In your blue can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I get some fancy new shutters in my house and I've got those blinds. Where do they go? Green. Green can. It's garbage. Mm -hmm. There's no recycled symbol on it. Okay. Yeah, because they are aluminum. But a, a lot of times people think, well, uh, this is plastic, so it, it can go over here. And it's yeah. a car seat. Yeah. But it's the wrong density of plastic. There's no recycled symbol on it. Yeah. It goes, plus it's got, everybody leaves the fabric on yeah. there. So the blinds are the same way. They're aluminum, yes but they have no recycled symbol. It's Got not it. the density that they are Got looking it. for. So. Okay, so I'm a rebel and I say, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I'm just gonna throw whatever I want in whichever can. Uh, and what are you gonna do to me? We have a three strike program. Mm -hmm. And so each time we find contaminants in your blue can, you get a strike and we tag it. So uh -huh. we staple a tag on there, letting you know what, what needs to be changed. Okay. Give you, give you a chance. Yeah. Give you a chance. Because it's hard. Right. It, it takes is. some education. It is because we've, uh, I, we have been in this mindset that we know what is recyclable and it's just kind of evolved into garbage recycled. Mm -hmm. If that's. So I, I would like everybody to just forget what they've ever learned or their <laughs> preconceived ideas. You out there right or... now, forget what you know about recycling. <laughs> right, right, right. So listen that... to Gina. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. If it's if it recycled symbol on it, ones and twos, and then paper, cardboard, raw, clean. Okay. Last question. Once you guys get the recycle stuff, where does it go? It goes to, we take ours to Recycled Earth right off Midland Drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and they separate it and uh -huh. sell it and all that mm -hmm. other kind yep. of stuff, right? Yep. How many pounds of garbage does Ogden City produce in, I don't know, a week or a day or whatever? Um, on an average, well, through this pandemic with everybody home. Uh-huh. Yeah. <sighs> Wow, it was up over like 150 to 160. Some, some days were 175 tons a day. 175 tons? Uh -huh. Like a ton is 2,000 pounds. Yeah. Right, right, right. So 175. Well, I'm not going to do that math. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it was uh, looking at it, uh, it was about 150,000 a day or wow. a month. Just wow. for garbage. Good heavens. That. Yeah. Good heavens. Yeah. That's a lot. You guys probably didn't know how yeah. much yeah. garbage and stuff is being yeah. dealt it's with. It's 40, there. 49 a ton right now for wow. garbage. Wow. Uh -huh. Recycle was 39, 40 a ton, but now it's 50, 08 a ton. Yeah. It did go up as high as over $84. Oh, ton. good heavens. So, well, no wonder. I mean, that yeah. really impacts the yeah. budget. When you're talking about 175 tons <laughs> uh, on like that. Yeah. All right. So, Gina, one last question. I said, I keep saying one last question. This probably will be the very last <laughs> That's question. That's okay. That's okay. People are going to get confused and they may not remember this. And some people may not watch this. I don't know who they are. Everybody right. watches this. Yeah, but if someone has questions, how do they get in touch or how do they, where, where do they find the answers? 
uh, they can call our uh, main number over at Ogden City mm -hmm. at 801 629 8278. They can call that number and we can help them with their answers. We can help them with the recycled workshop. I'll even do a recycled workshop for them with little samples and you stuff. You go out and do it like a oh, recycled yeah. workshop been to for schools, been to uh, neighborhoods. Wow. I go do it on my to businesses. I do a recycled workshop off, off my tailgate just to wow. show renters wow. maybe on how to recycle yeah. so that they don't so that we don't have to take their blue can right. away. That's not our end goal. Right. No, no, you, you know? want people to use it, yeah, don't you? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, this has just been fascinating. <laughs> I just love, I love garbage <laughs> talk. We're talking trash here, folks. <laughs> That's yep. a, that should be the name. This should yep. not be Junction City Day. This should be talking trash. <laughs> That's right. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Gina, we need you to come back on here on a regular basis and yeah. update us. I like, I want to have you back in a couple months to talk about what we need to do for our green waste and then you know summer garbage rules those kind of things because right. this is fun you have been talking with gina hughes i i didn't forget yeah. i didn't forget <laughs> and she is i call her the garbage queen she has a much better <laughs> title than that with ogden city recycling is back for ogden city residents your blue can is back jack okay yeah. we want you to use it if you've got questions call gina and you should call her anyway because she's just a really nice and fun person that you should spend <laughs> some time with. Uh, this has been another edition of Junction City Today. Gina, thank you for thank coming you on. Thank you very much. And, um, and thank you guys for watching us. And uh, if you have suggestions for things you'd like to see on this program, please go ahead and go to the Ogden City website. Drop us an email because we would love it. I'm Craig Bielik, your host. Uh, it's Junction City Today or Trash Talk. Yeah. I like Trash Talk. <laughs> with Gina Hughes with Ogden City. Thank you. Get those things in the recycler. Let's get it done. Awesome.